Blogger Digital Designs. And today I am going to show you how to bring in an image so that you can digitize it and also just a couple other features that will help us when we bring an image in to digitize and to um, just make it better visually when we digitize. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go through the button in the very left hand um, middle. It says image. We're going to click on that button and it's going to bring up our files. So wherever you have your images, your clip art saved, that is where you're going to want to uh, maneuver to. I have mine saved under Kimberly, Hug Longer, Graphic Artists. And then I have the um, artists mostly separated by the name that they go by. And then I'll have folders letting me know what they are. This is my Christmas folder. And let's find a cute image. Here's a cute hot chocolate image. And that one would be fun to digitize. Um, it's making me want some hot chocolate right now. Let's open that and wait for that to import. And there it is. Now, if you open it and after a few seconds it doesn't come in, go up here and check this button here. Show or hide the background image. If I click it off, you don't see it. If I click it on, you do see it. That is also useful when we're digitizing, and I'm going to tell you why. So let's look at, I am not going to do all the shadowing on the hot chocolate, nor on the marshmallows. It's beautiful. Um, great as a clip art, would look great as a sticker, or if you, did a, uh, if you did a sublimation, but that's a lot of different colors in here for embroidery, and I find that people don't really want to do that many colors. Um, I'm going to start by digitizing this little guy here. And I'm going to click at the corner with a square. And then I'm going to round it out a little bit. And get rid of this little notification. Hopefully we won't get any more pop in. All right. There we go, make sure it's a closed object. And I'm gonna give it a fill stitch. Let's change the color. To a nice hot cocoa color, good. So I would go in here and I would probably maneuver these. I'd click on some of these nodes and maybe do some adjusting. But for time's sakes, I wanna show you um, a couple of features that will help you when you're digitizing. So not so much with this one, but in general, you will want to turn on and off your picture to check out um, your digitizing better to see uh, how it, how it, like this little curve here. This is, I did a square here. I really don't want that line square in there. I really want it to be a cusp, and give it a little more bend, like that. Um, here, I want this to be. A little rounder so I'd probably do this and I might even decide that this needs to be a cusp as well and round this edge only but I'd go in there and you can see it visually better when you turn the picture off and then you can turn the picture back on and you can pull it over this way um, pull this down here you can see where I'm not matching here it doesn't have to be exact I'm using this clip art for example, and if I like my hot chocolate smoke swirl a little different, then I make it a little different. But this gives you an idea. So when you click on a node and pull it, the other nodes become just a line. But what if I want to do the whole thing that way? Because I want to see the edging of everything better. Well, there's a button for that too. You see the little eyeball button to the left hand side? It says show or hide stitches. This is really useful when digitizing. Click on that, and now I'm not seeing the stitches. I'm just seeing the <clears throat> outline, which is going to make it easier for me to know exactly where I need to go. So that button is very useful as well. It's the little eyeball. Sometimes you might come to your picture and say, hey, what happened to all my stitches? Go up and check that eyeball. 
hit on that eyeball, and there you have it. So what we went over today is we went over how to import a picture or an image, and we go over to the image button, we click on that, and then we grab one of these images and hit open. Okay. Now, we also went over how to hide or show your image, and then how to hide or show your stitches. And I think those tools will get you a good start on digitizing from clip art. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you're having a great day. And I might go make myself a cup of hot cocoa now.